Hi guys, I'm Juan here, Up in the Sun, where I bring you lifestyle and fandom realness. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Before we get started, please go ahead and hit that like button. It really does help out with that vicious algorithm. And subscribe if you haven't already, it's free. As you see from today's title, we are doing part two of my Loungefly collection, my entire collection. And it has been a blast piling all these bags together. <laughs> Definitely <a> screaming hoarder. <laughs> I have another grip of bags to share with you today, so let's go ahead and get into it. The first bag I'm sharing is this wonderful New York Yankees lounge fly. Now we have the stripes here, which is indicative of the Yankee uniform. So this one is the first one they had come out with and it is the nicest one they've come out with so far. I don't like the new releases for the sports. I'm so sorry. I don't like any flowers on it. They all look silly. Um, kind of like a cheapened version. I think these iterations when they first came out are the perfect ones. So of course, I wanted a lounge fly to commemorate my time here in New York. And this is like a patch that says New York here. And then you can notice that there's like this debossed, the New York logo here of the Yankees. It does have silver hardware, but it is piped with that beautiful blue. It handles blue, has a traditional style front pocket. So if you can imagine, I've used this bag a lot. <laughs> I love using this bag during the summer. I think the season has already started. Don't quote me on that. This does not have side pockets, however, but it does have this beautiful MLB logo lounge fly. So I like that they didn't go with the franchise and they just kept it here so they can interchange this. It would just be a lot to put the team's name here and lounge fly. So it really is a partnership with the MLB major league baseball okay <laughs> that's what mlb stands for <laughs> you can see i have the straps here <laughs> wrapped up in this pretty much like junk mail <laughs> i just cut it up taped it together but essentially the straps are freaking awesome because it says new york yankees on them in this beautiful script and the inside core is all over with the yankee logo here like an older traditional one and it does have a zipper inside pocket which i love you notice it does not have stuffing in it because I do use this bag. Of course, I got the wallet and this wallet is a little different because it has like this over clasp here, but it does have that metal New York Yankees logo there and it just pops open so you can access it. This is not in the bag itself. So this is was made specifically for this wallet, which I think is interesting. I like how the cut is like one of the bases. See how there's like some gunk and grime on it. So I'll have to go back and clean that up a bit, but I have used this. Has it been convenient? Not really, because I don't like the size is not to my liking, but it goes with the back, you know? It has some wear and tear on it. See the corner there is a little nick there, as well as that. And I'm not sure if that's just because of the bunching of the faux leather. Either way, it's very minor from afar. You can't really tell and it's well loved. <laughs> I mean, this is one of the first bags that I got when I moved to New York City and I knew I was really getting into Loungefly. I was like, okay, I need a bag to rep NYC and it's perfect for that. It was amazing to take this bag with me to Yankee Stadium. I had worked for a law firm and the firm had season tickets, but not just season tickets, they had VIP season tickets. So I was able to go into the VIP dining area where it's like a buffet, you know, all you can eat. It was really awesome. And then of course the seats are great behind home base. And it was just an amazing experience. And I hope I get an opportunity to go to a Yankees game. Maybe not this season, I don't know. But it's like, I kind of already did the VIP experience. So I'm not really itching to get back. And also I don't really have people that are interested in going to ball games in my life right now. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. The next bag I have to share is this beautiful, beautiful Cinderella's Castle, part of this castle series that they had come out with. And this is the only one I got out of that series. There are some great ones in that line and I had my eye on a few of them, especially the Princess Tiana one. I just love seeing Tiana's palace. It was a great bag. I love Cinderella. I actually was not a huge stan at the beginning, but then the live action version of that movie, the message is that be kind and brave and just so, uh, so touching. And it just really had an impact on me. And also the song had a huge impact on me because it is a waltz. And in a past life, I was a dance instructor and I taught ballroom dancing. 
and it's a wonderful waltz and anytime I had an opportunity to dance to that song in the studio it was good practice dance for like the students we put that song on and so and it just makes you feel like you are <laughs> in a Disney movie <laughs> what I love about this is the gold that's really this gold is so gorgeous the gold foiling and of course it has this artwork that is very indicative of Mary Blair and there's a lot of elements to this bag that looks like screams Mary Blair to me but the front pocket is beautiful with the carriage here and has her crest and you can see Fairy Godmother and you can see that it is actually a front pocket here. I love the gold hardware, it's my favorite and they just chose these beautiful colors and you can see Gus Gus there and you know, a nice solid color. I barely use this bag, so if there's a little dusty and crusty, I apologize. It does not have side pockets, but one of the biggest elements of this bag was this crest that they added here for the zipper pull, which is so gorgeous. Again, more of that gold hardware in this purplish blue. I still have a tag on this. <laughs> I have not used this bag. Their embroidery says, a dream is a wish your heart makes. Uh, when you're fast asleep. <laughs> I mean, when they said from rags to riches, <laughs> they were talking about this transformation scene. <laughs> and the inside lining is just has more of the magic there with the castle. And it does have a zippered pocket. So we got action. I love that. And of course, they got the wallet. On this side here, it's just more of now this applique on top of the wallet here of the castle, which is beautiful. On the other side, now we do see Cinderella finished here. Now she's next to the carriage. Really nice. This is textured as well. Ah, oh, so nice. I just love this beautiful blue of the plaque. This is the inside, more of the lining is the same. Tons of space for your cards. And then this doesn't have anything special for the cutout there, but they did give this beautiful embossed or jibbaz, whatever it is, crest here on the side. And then it has one of my favorite features which is a zippered pocket which is perfect this is a gorgeous set and in my dreams i hope that i can actually take this with me to walt disney world when i eventually get, make it down there and wear this to magic kingdom and speaking of princesses we have my favorite princess <sighs> y'all i am obsessed with pocahontas is it Historically accurate, absolutely not. <laughs> but the message behind Pocahontas is one that every person needs to learn. And when they were doing these Princess Sequin collection, I knew that I didn't really care for, I mean, they're all beautiful, but I didn't care to get any of them, but this one. And this has that pattern sequin I was talking about, uh, where it kind of just does its own thing. With This has the applique here the cutout and so beautiful reminiscent of the fringe of her outfit this beautiful blue oh my gosh and i love that it's textured it's not flat and they had the beautiful piece of the, the necklace that was her mother's and they went into this nice like coffee cream color uh, for the plaque here it was just so well done because you have this gorgeous gold and the creams and then you have the shock of the blue so it does have side pockets and it has a brassy gold for the hardware and ah uh, this does not get used this will not get used this is purely for the collection purely for display because it's just so gorgeous and i just love this detail here of her tattoo on her arm she's the only disney princess with a tattoo work mama and then <laughs> this zipper bowl here on the front of the compass the back it says free spirit you can't tell this also has like some hatching detail on it so this is like sappy on leather so nothing about this is matte everything is textured even the bottom all this is textured so gorgeous of course i got the wallet it has more of the fringe here and it's just uh very nice see i'm like uh i'm a little terrified holding this because i don't want anything to flake off but you see how it is has the clasp over which oh this beautiful bow i'm so glad they redid that again and you open it up i apologize i didn't show the lining but this is the lining here you can see it has sunflowers and the compass there so really gorgeous a lot of room for your cards i love that the cutout here is a leaf oh so nice backing this plastic covering there it goes 
So I love this set together. I did check. This does just have a guest in pocket, so it doesn't have a, a zipper on the inside. It is absolutely one of the highlights of my collection, and I'm just so happy I have it. And keeping with the Pocahontas theme, this is my other Pocahontas lounge fly. This is from Box Lunch. This is the Colors of the Wind bag, and oh, it, it's just so gorgeous. I love, again, this artwork. You see how there's little embroidered leaves along here with these little esoteric symbols there. And you have John Smith there. And, oh, it's just beautiful. So there's no front pockets but it has like this beautiful pink plaque right there. And I love the size. So this breaks away from the traditional and it's now more of this mid-size bag. It does have side pockets and silver hardware. Other side, I mean, this, this is a more practical bag because of how tall it is. So you can fit more things in here. The back is so adorable with the critters there. We have Miko, Flit, and Percy, and they're also getting caught up in the wind. <laughs> I love the extenders. Oh my gosh, this is orange and this is blue. Like, ah, oh, beautiful. Inside lining is this gorgeous yellow with the leaves and flit there. And it does have a zipper pocket, which is my favorite. This is awesome. And this is a wallet I have. It's just a little card holder and it's beautiful. It has Pocahontas with Miko and Flit and it has a zipper here. So it's great because now you can put change in here. And then it has two slots for cards there. So like <laughs> the card you're going to be spending your money with and your ID <laughs> and that's it. But it also has that beautiful artwork with the colors of the wind. Ugh. And it just fits nicely here. This looks so cute. I can't help it. I love this bag. And then I have this baby right here. Oh, Percy, you little office brat. <laughs> this is a gift but you actually can pick this up at Circle of Hope Boutique if they still have it in stock, I'm not sure. Again, Circle of Hope Boutique, I believe that's what it's called. And I had been looking at this bag on and off, you know, whether I should get it because, you know, I am collecting Pocahontas. <laughs> and lo and behold, this was one of the beautiful lounge lights I was gifted for the Season of Sparkle. You should go back and watch that video because the lovely Pam did an amazing job of giving me one of the best Christmases ever. And when I mean Pam, I mean Coco for Disney. My Auntie Coco, and uh, I love this bag. He is so cute. They did a great job with the artwork here. His ears, oh my gosh, can we talk about these ears? They're so freaking cute. They're stitched on here so they won't flop around. Uh, <laughs> like, this is a pug for sure. Beautiful job with this collar here, and this is embroidered, the threading here. And then they have a real life bell. That's amazing. And then they have this beautiful plaque here in black. And I have another <laughs> compass zipper pull here. This one's slightly bigger than the one that's on the sequin bag. This is a different shape. It's kind of a lunch pail style because the handle here. But the front flap is awesome because it's super wide and it, and it opens up to this beautiful lining of the babies. <laughs> the rivalry between him and Miko is a match. <laughs> and it has this gray here and has again that leaf motif and more of the compass and some feathers there. And Flit makes an appearance. <laughs> but you can see it does have an inside zipper pocket which is great. So the back straps are gray. And then we have, there we have, <laughs> bombastic side eye. <laughs> Staring each other down, I love it. They're so cute. I do know that there is a Miko out there. The one Pocahontas girl that I'm actually looking for is the one where it has like the different scenes that she's on the front of. And I missed out on that one, but it is on the list. <laughs> and another princess that I'm obsessed with is Moana. Oh my gosh. Of course, this is the Tefiti. This was a Toys and Fun exclusive. And when I was working at FedEx, <laughs> which was the first job I was able to get when I moved to New York City, when after I got my vaccination, I was good to go to start working again. I remember being on my break and just scrolling and then seeing the pre-order for this bag. <laughs> I'm like, oh. What? Green is my favorite color, by the way. So this Tafiti really spoke out to me. And just look at her face. So beautiful. Oh, just a gorgeous goddess. 
and I just love the flowers in her hair. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. And then this beautiful scene of Moana with Hei Hei and Pua and of course Maui there with his hook and they're sailing away away. <laughs> I love that they went with the ocean blue for the black here to match this, but they still trimmed it in the green and this beautiful sunset ombre that they have going on here. It's just so gorgeous. And then it does have side pockets here with the palm trees. So beautiful. I love the choice of the blue trim. It has silver hardware. There's the bottom. The back here is Pooh and Hey Hey. Oh my gosh, they look so cute. And we do have the Heart of Tafiti there as a zipper pull, which is amazing. When I first was collecting Lashlight, I was not a fan of this, which is when the applique hangs over. But then you get to a point where you're just like, get out of it. <laughs> because these are works of art, okay? That's the only way the Ray Home managed to do this. <laughs> the inside lining is just this beautiful pattern of the scenes here, of the islands, and Moana's boat there, voyaging along. So cute. And it does have inside zipper, which is great. This did not come with the wallet. And this bag actually was delayed because it was, of course, the pandemic was still going on. And even though things are opening up, and people are getting back to work, the supply chains were all screwed up. So this took a year, a whole year from when I pre-ordered it to arrive on my doorstep. And I am so happy I have her. This was well worth it. And I'm just obsessed. And to go with that bag, of course, I had to get Tamatoa. Now, I was actually lucky to get him on the second release because when he first came out, I was not really sure I wanted to even expand on my Moana collection. But as I took a further look, I forget whose video I saw. I saw someone review this bag and I was like, you idiot. <laughs> go get that bag. <laughs> because the details on this bag are so great. I love the pearls on his teeth for the grill and the sequin behind him. The shining is <laughs> so great. And he has Maui's hook here. And oh, it's just so wonderful. Look at that. You can see this shiny ombre effect of a holographic look. It's just so much going on here. So much wonderful detail put on. Like, look at the body, body, body. This beautiful back charm of the seashell there. It's like marble, which is attached to the zipper that goes along his teeth, which I don't want to mess with because obviously it will bump into the pearls, which was kind of a design flaw. But these open up <laughs> and just looks so cool. Like, hello. <laughs> his body, the shimmer and shine and color change. Uh, I know people have like bedazzled this to make it look even more sparkular, but I don't need to go through all that. That's, you know, I'm glad they did that, but I'm happy just as it is. In the back, it is just him. Oh, so cute. Very nice. I love it. And this purple is beautiful. And it does have side pockets and gold hardware. Do you see that? Oh, look at that shimmer. Gorgeous. And I love the purple plaque. Yes, yeah, so nice. And the lining is just the artwork of that back kit with this purple. Really cute. It does not have a zipper pocket inside. It's gusseted, so it's just an open flap. But uh, he looks so amazing, and I'm so happy I have him and Tafiti, and they just look so great next to each other. Uh -huh. <laughs> he was a Pink Hollow Mode exclusive. I don't know if I mentioned that, but as we know, Pink Hollow Mode no longer has partnership with Loungefly, so this is even more collectible. Next, I have this perfect bag for spring slash Easter. I hope everyone did have a wonderful Easter. This is a beautiful pastel sequin mini mouse bag and i just love the colors on the blues the yellow and that mint ah oh, so gorgeous and i love the yellow of that placard look at that bow so nice and the trim and the mint and the handle they just did a beautiful job with the color placement on this bag and then see it has that pattern sequin that i was talking about for pocahontas it's here as well and it has silver hardware does have the side pockets there accented in the blue there's nothing on the back it's just this beautiful mint with the pink straps here and then the extender is the mint and it has more accent of the tab here is the pink they just did a great great job i mean they're back 
they did that barn yellow and the lining is that mint pink with the mini mouse heads in there so cute no zipper inside pocket is just gusseted but ah oh, it's just so gorgeous look at that uh -huh. <laughs> of course i've not used her yet i just think she's so beautiful i don't have a lot of sequin bags to be honest and I just think because they look fragile and I don't want anything to happen to them. So I just pick and choose which ones I think that I would love to just look at <laughs> in my collection. And this was one of them because I love pastels. And then I just ended up picking up the card holder for this line. And I just love the plushness of the bow. So cute. And it's just really simple. I mean, this is great. Like if you were to go to let's say a, like just a family Easter get together. Like this is not something that I would take to the parks because of, it would just be risking up damage, but I would take it to a family gathering and then like store it. So the kids don't get next to it, <laughs> but at least have it, take some good pictures, take this, could take some pictures of the Easter bunny and you're all set. But as a set, this looks great. I took get the ears to these. I love them. So those colors are familiar because they are similar to the color story going on here in this Vanellope. This is when she's racing in her cart and I just love it. She looks so adorable, super kawaii. This applique is insane. There is glitter in her dust. <laughs> when they say eat my dust, <laughs> they mean this <laughs> because you could eat that. <laughs> This giant applique is covering a front pocket and I just love the candies that are embroidered here. So beautiful. I love that pastel of the yellow here that's it's shade lighter than the sequin bag. So gorgeous. Ah, so fun. Love this. And just like the color is gorgeous. I love the framing of the pink and does have gold hardware. Now I'm obsessed with the side pockets because <laughs> it has the baby candies in the stand and they look so freaking adorable and I love the embroidery on the banner there oh my gosh and they are raised so if embossed debogged whatever and so it's textured here and they're just so freaking cute the back hit just says Vanellope so nice these extenders in the striping there they're so great we got action. It does have a zipper pocket and the lining is just her face with some candies. Of course, I got the wallet and this one is now a profile of her. And you can see all the candies in the back. This is now like a stitch on applique. And you can see this. It's just so nice. On the other side, it's a little indented because it was like squished with some other wallets. So whoops, but it has her name there and the beautiful plaque inside. You think this is different, but this chocolate here is like reminiscent of her shoes. Y'all know I love a set. So I think I got this from Modern Pinup. I think it's sold out. I don't know, but you can check. But it came out a while ago, like 2021. Normally I probably wouldn't have gone for a bag this so early on, but I needed it to complement my Wreck-It Ralph bag. <laughs> my gosh, he is so, so wonderful. I love this bag. Again, in the same vein as the Pizza Planet truck and the Lightning Queen bag, it was just like a no brainer to get another bag that was gender neutral that everyone can enjoy. And he looks so great. His applique is everything. And then I think the standout is the front pocket because obviously these buttons are real. This is real. And this has the corduroy here is very nice detailed. And then of course his shirt is this pattern that they used all around with the brown trim. And then I love the orange, this burnt orange plaque there. And uh, it's just so nice with the silver hardware. And the wonderful back hit of his phrase, I'm gonna wreck it. So nice. It does have a gusseted pocket, but the inside lining is the game. <laughs> the, the version of them in the game. And there's Ralph and then Fix It Felix and some of the characters from the apartment as well, the building. Of course, I got the wallet and it is Fix It Felix himself. He's so stinking cute. I love that it says, I can fix it. So it is amazing with the blue and it has a lining here that is inside the bag. It's just so nice. This also came out in 2021. So 2021 was the year of wreck and Ralph. <laughs> but they just look amazing together and I'm so glad I have them. And speaking of things you could play with, <laughs> this is my newest addition to my collection. It is this Woody's Roundup marionette puppet 
from Toy Story 2. And I did just recently share this bag, so I won't spend too much time in it, but I just love that. It's embroidered detail in front of a television set, it looks like, and the gold. Oh, the gold trim on this bag is just beautiful. And you can tell here that there's the grooving here. The texture of this bag is just amazing. And it has this brass hardware. But look at that gold. Oh, so gorgeous. And I love the brown there. It's our lounge fly on the plaque. And this gold, man, I just can't get over it. It's so nice. I mean, look at the straps. Oh my gosh. It looks, looks so beautiful. And in the back it says Woody's Roundup. This is screen printed on, so there's no texture on the back. I didn't show this detail last time, but on the back of the arms here, these are all, this is gold as well. So, so if it's out like this, then it, you can see the gold here. Oh, love that. If you are a Toy Story fan, again, I recommend getting this bag. Actually, I think it is officially sold out. When I checked the website last, I'm like, finally, he sold out. It took long enough. <laughs> but they recently just had that spring sale, so he was snapped right up. So I'm so glad. Congratulations to anyone who did get this bag. Inside, I did a terrible job last time showing it, but it is a gusseted pocket, and you have Woody on top of Bullseye there with other elements, and you can see the roping detail. I know the word vintage means different things to different people, but for me, when someone says vintage, I think of this. I think of the 1930s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Like that to me is vintage. This is within that era of time gone by. And it's just like when you think about your grandparents, what they like, what they watched when they were growing up, or your great grandparents, you know, it was cowboys and Indian style movies. Those were all the rage. So Woody's Roundup falls into that. If you saw, I did get the wallet. So uh, again, with this beautiful gold trim, and it just has his face. His eyes are still embroidered, which is a wonderful detail. The applique is very nice. Side the gold continues. Like, if you're a fan of gold, this was for you <laughs> because they did not shy away from it. And the beautiful brown there, and the TV dial. Oh, this is so nice. And it says Sheriff Woody here. It's more of the same. It does have my favorite zip pocket here for your change. I was blitzing to this because you all have already seen it. I just shared this not too long ago, but again, a wonderful addition to my collection and I'm so happy to have it. And of course I have Battle Mode Baymax. This is a pop edition of a lounge fly. So you can see from the plaque, it says a pop lounge fly. So it's a Funko Pop rendition of Baymax in his battle uniform. And it's just so gorgeous just look how the lights hitting this ah oh, so nice this does have a couple of scuffs on the top of it you can barely tell but they're there <laughs> it does have this black trim with a wonderful stitching there and i just love his little body the detail right here where his program goes into on the other side is his arm here so nice other arm <laughs> on the side pockets detail of the pop of baymax which is an older pop it's it's kind of hard to find it's on my list to get but you have the straps here with a black extender it is a little worse for wear right now because i did use this at new york city comic-con this past year and this was the outfit I wore, minus the wonderful munchling ears I just got, because this was my day two outfit and it was a hit. <laughs> of course, I have the wallet here. He's so freaking cute. Oh, love that. On the back, you have the full cutout here, but now this is fully colored in as an applique. So beautiful. And it has the wonderful black plaque here with the red shining outlet behind it. And then we have a scene here of a monster attacking the city. If you've not seen the Baymax series on Disney Plus, I encourage you to watch it. It's really good. And this is the line that's in the bag. I'll show you in a second. But again, it has my favorite feature with the zip there. So it does not have any zip pocket, but it's gusted, which just has a lot of symbols there. This was released for D23, coincided with the 2022 Fall Convention. So this was a limited edition, but it's so awesome. I'm so happy I have it. Now from a hero to a mutant and royalty <laughs> we have king namor here this is so gorgeous this is a royal treasures exclusive 
I'm not sure if it's on the website, but you can check. I know it was heavily discounted, so kudos to you people who were able to get this at a great price, and I'm super jealous. <laughs> but I'm actually happy whatever price they paid for it because I needed this. This is a must. I love the new backstory that they gave Namor, and uh, this is the King Namor because this is his headdress of Kuku Khan, and I love the eyes there and the feathered serpent and the beautiful plumes here and this is dimensional so it has another ringlet there and the gold you know i love gold so that was another aspect of it and then just like the baymax it does have this shiny element to it but it's like glitter <laughs> encased it's so nice and it has his green which is my favorite color but it's a more muted green here to match his shorts and then his necklace, oh my gosh, this is such a, a beautiful bag. It says Marvel Studios, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. And it's so, so nice. This is the bottom here. This is matte, so it's not this color, so I appreciate that. This already has a nick on it because I took this with me to the American Natural History Museum and people were very intrigued <laughs> over this bag as they should be because <laughs> it's a work of art <laughs> on this side we have the wings that are on his heels and oh, it's more of that beautiful just the pattern work it's just beautiful uh oh, more gold accenting and again you can see on the straps i'm, I'm just using cut up paper all the just fine you know and on the back it says empress rex oh and this there he is there's Bay. <laughs> Namor is so fine. <laughs> it does have a zipper pocket and it just says Namor going down the line here with more of that Mesoamerican style there. Beautiful. But the cultural significance of Namor was really great and I am of Mexican descent so it speaks to me on multiple levels. I'm just so so happy that they came out with this bag because they came out with another one for Shop Disney at the time, and it was not great. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it just was not good. This is the superior bag, and I'm so happy they have this, because now I can enjoy it in my collection, and he's just so freaking amazing. Ah, speaking of mutants, we have Scarlet Witch. This is a Disney Parks bag. There are multiple Scarlet Witch bags out there, but this is the one I wanted the most, and I'm so happy that I came back and restock. I don't know if I paid the $88 price. I think I got this on a discount. It still is on the website last I checked at the full price, but maybe you can wait for a sale and you can also get a good deal on it. But this is just so beautiful. It's just a metallic version and this has so much great detail here for her bodice. And the belt buckle here does have side pockets. It doesn't say WandaVision or anything like that. It just says Marvel Loungefly. It has silver hardware. Love the black trim against this metallic, beautiful ruby red. It's a little deeper. Nothing on the back. I, I don't know why it's so warped. <laughs> I need to fix this. And the applique is great of her cowl. So nice. And the park bags don't have any pockets on the inside, but it does say Scarlet Witch. But it does have an outline of Scarlet Witch's face. The issue was it doesn't have enough stuffing, but that's okay. I have moved it around a bit, but love this bag. Haven't had an opportunity to use it yet. But I would love to use this bag at Avengers Campus and DCA. So maybe one day soon I'll be able to do that. But this is what I would use that bag for. And well, yeah, there's multiple bags that DCA would love to use. <laughs> but this is one of those particularly for the Avengers Campus. But another bag I would love to use at DCA would be this Moon Knight bag. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. First of all, this is one of the better series that ever came out on Disney Plus for their original content. I mean, Oscar Isaac is a bae, so they knew what they were doing. <laughs> this was a 2023 Wondrous Convention Limited Edition, and uh, this was so popular, it sold out. And I'm so glad I was one of the ones to get it. And this metal detail here of the crescent moon. It's actually the shape of his weapons that he uses and does have hieroglyphs on it. So gorgeous. Of course, has hieroglyphs here. Of course, I love gold. So the gold accent to this is amazing. I love the crescent moon there. Oh, and then I love the dual texture of the leather here with, with this kind of like a burlap feel as well. And oh, just so nice. 
Like he's a mummy. He's a mummy superhero. <laughs> Look at these gold hardware details. And his eyes do glow in the dark. This is a very skinny black. So it breaks the mold. It says Marvel Studios Moon Knight. Straps are gorgeous with this pattern here. But one of the most gorgeous back hits ever. This is the Moon Phases. And that was just a beautiful detail. They didn't have to do that. They could have done something more corny and just put like maybe a picture of him. But they did this gorgeous gold moon face cycle here. Oh, and it does have a gusset of pocket, but here's the lining with more of the crescent moon with some more hieroglyphs and the gray. Of course, they got the wallet here, and I love that they continued this on here. This is also metal, so they didn't cheap it out, which I appreciate. And then they have the plaque here with the gold trim. So nice. And then we have it here. I love the cutout. It's like crescent moon. Oh. And then it has, of course, my favorite detail. This is a little more daintier. <laughs> Very nice. I love it. This is an amazing set. Yes, yes, yes. I'm well aware that they have just announced a beautiful Mr. Knight edition for Chicago Con. Um, I forget what they call it. C2 something, whatever. But I'll correct myself here on the screen. And yes, I do have plans on trying to get that bag because I am awful even though I said I'm not doing a no buy but sometimes there are things that just move your hand <laughs> you have no choice especially when they come out as a, that's limited edition and that's part of your collection it's all about that mystery night so <laughs> you best believe I am gonna drop everything to try and grab that bag Ooh, wish me luck the final bag I have to share with you today is spider punk now Hobie is my homie <laughs> i love 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 across the spider verse that was such a great movie and it didn't win the oscar lost to a boy and a heron which is fine because that was a beautiful movie as well but i love the art style of these films and this one is just so great he is just such a great character i'm glad they had come out with this bag because he's just so freaking cool i love the lapels of his vest here and this is a real button and this is cut out applique here, so that's a dimension to it, which is awesome. And you have these real buttons here. This one says punk's not dead. I love this so much. Look at the spikes. Oh my gosh, so cool. And I just love this detail here of like the comic book panels. It does have side pockets and more of that splattering. I just love the red. This just says Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. It doesn't say Loungefly. And this is the other side, but oh, more of that beautiful artistic detail there. So great. I love the splattering. It has a gusset in pocket, but the inside says Spider-Punk and has all these symbols on inside, which is a repetition of some of the symbols that you see on the back hit, which is just so awesome because it's totally decked out with the graffiti and ah, oh, so cool. Look at that cap. <laughs> So awesome. This bag is everything. There's even spike details on the straps. I did take this with me when I went to go see the film. It was so great. I loved it. Uh, and I love this bag. I misplaced the wallet. It's somewhere around here. But overall, I'm so happy I have this in my collection. There's a plethora of Spider-Man bags you can have out there. But this one is super unique. And I believe this was a loungefly.com exclusive. So it did sell out. Finally, eventually it sold out. <laughs> so happy to have this and it looks great with all my other superhero lounge flies, which I'm surprised to have so many. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Comment down below, are we bag twins on any of these? Do you have a favorite? Let me know. Thank you to all my subscribers. Your support means everything to me. Remember, we are on the road to 500 for that next giveaway. So please go ahead and continue to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with someone who you think that might like it. Please be sure that you have those notifications set to all so you don't miss out on my next video because we will be coming out with part three. So I really appreciate y'all being here. Marvelous Merch Mondays are going strong. <laughs> and with that, be safe. Tell someone you love them because tomorrow's never promised. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.